What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming with Jay as always. So guys, in today's video, we are going to be talking about a very controversial topic that I have kind of, you know, been noticing since I've gotten into the moto vlog and video game streaming world. And for those of you who don't know, this is my very first bike. I've owned it now for about a year and a half, going on two, two years. Very first bike, very first ownership. Of course, I jumped into a super bike and I've made my channel around going to that experience about being a first time, not only a moto vlogger, but also a owner of a super super bike um all my links are down below and please smash that like and subscribe button if you haven't already joined my channel okay let's get into this video hit the gas on them nitro youngin cooling and being cool that's ice cold youngin we really bad at bad at no bluffing self-made boy that's the end of discussion cooling with jade and are we cooling right cooling with jade and are we cooling right cooling with jade and are we cooling you ain't really cooling or you think you're fooling so now, getting into this topic that's very controversial, and you know, obviously I want to get y'all's opinion on it about what you're willing to do and what not to do. But getting to the meat of this video, what I want to discuss, man, is I've noticed this whole uh, clickbait, right? Uh, people sacrificing their their bodies, their morals, their their channel just for views and subscribers. So for those of you who don't know, um, Instagram just got rid of their uh, likes. You know, they're saying it's because of, you know, people getting bullied and basing their life on how many views and subscribers and followers they have. You know, people are getting picked on because, you know, for example, I might have 4,000 followers. Another guy might only have 100. And I'm picking on him because I'm like, you know, saying he's not special, he isn't a cool guy or girl or, or whoever else, right? So there's this shift in the social media world, guys, where it's becoming a it's becoming a big deal. You know, the fact of kids and people are are basing their lifestyles and what they do off of how many views they get. You know, they're giving up their morals and their beliefs just for a couple of likes on a social media page guys and and that's also the challenge of being on YouTube because it's a very fine line now people want to say in the comments yo just do you you know you know the original that's what everybody's going to say on the surface right but look at look at the pages guys like look around like open your eyes and look no one's I'm not saying I'm not but I'm saying very few people are are being themselves in a sense right they're they're like for example look at a uh, doctor disrespect right now he's a he's a gamer right and he made his living off of a persona right kind of like Clark Kent turning into Superman right which is fine I'm not knocking it right that's how he made his business but so many people take it further than that they take it much further than just a different persona like their like their videos are always showing their their girlfriend like for example there's a guy i'm not going to mention his name but every single one of his videos that are bike related have has his girlfriend in a bikini you know what i'm saying like it's obvious what it's about he's using his girlfriend to get the click so then there's this misconstrued message because is it about the girl or is it about the bike or is it basically both now i'm not knocking people who do it i'm just saying just that's that's where we're at with the social media with the youtube look at tiktok you know tiktok's the brand new social media platform and this is it's turning into this i'm gonna do I'm going to sacrifice my morals and belief for a few likes and subscribers. And guys, it's a very challenging thin line because you have to find a way to be entertaining while also being unique, while also staying true to self, right? But think about it like this, guys. Some people are boring. Some people just don't can't make you laugh, right? Some people can't make you laugh. Some people don't have funny jokes. They don't have very entertaining lives. That's just some people is how it is, right? So then it becomes a challenge for them is, how do I grow my channel, right? 
how do I grow my channel in a way where it's organic and it's growing? Because people say you should be original on your channel, guys, but look at but look whose channels are growing. Look at all the channels who get all the views and subscribers, right? They're the ones doing the reckless thing on the pages. I mean, look at Instagram, right? Having to change, like, basically only I can look at how many likes I have. And I personally don't care, you know? I personally don't care how many likes I get. And truth be told, like I've told many people many a times, yes, yes, I want my channel, you know, to have exponential growth. Yes, I want to be known. I don't want to be, I don't want to be popular. I want to be known. And I want to use that influence to help others. That's my personal, like, that's what I'm about, right? Other people might want influence just to have it. I want to have it to help others have it, you know? And to be able to get pool, to use that pool for others. That's just my own personal message. Now, I'm not saying everybody has to have that same one. I'm just saying that's what, that's what mine is, right? And I feel like... When I look on YouTube, right, I, when I look at my competitors, that's what you do in any sport, right? Any sport, any company, you're going to look at your competitors. And you're going to see what they're doing, and you're going to figure out, okay, what can I take from my competitors, right, to, to help influence my own videos, right? And here's, here's what I think, right? I feel like I make original content every single time, right? I try to, at least. I try to have very unique topics, content, you know, you know, walk around, cinematic videos, all this kind of stuff, right? To keep, to keep current and be entertaining without, without, for example, right? Let's say, let's say I see a, a, a car on the road or, or me going out looking to do stupid things just to make a quick baiting video out of it. And guys, people do that. People do that. I know where all the, for, for example, being on a bike, right? I know where all the views are at. It's simple. Chase down a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or run from cops. That will be an instant classic real quick on YouTube, right? But then I'm going out searching for something that's one, dangerous, that's two, not me, just to get, just to get someone to subscribe or find my channel interesting. So then, they're not subscribing because they found my channel interesting. They're subscribing for whatever that thing I did. So then I have to keep doing it. And then I have to keep exceeding it. And, you know, doing something that tops that every single time. So then you find yourself chasing this carrot of, you know, content creation. Because you built your channel around doing something that's really not you. Just for the sake of views. Right? And I see a ton of people come to me on my YouTube channel or text me and ask me, hey man, how can I grow my content? You know, the whole sub for subs and hey, any advice you have and all of that, right? was fogging up right so there becomes this, this delicate balance even on gaming right even on my gaming channel of playing a video game right but then that struggle of how do i bring more viewers in and people just think oh you just keep making content and it'll pop and guys it's it's the unfortunate reality that that's not it's not quite the case it can be if you find something that's original but at the same time, most things, you're, you're competing against others doing the same thing. And if you look at the motor vlog community right now, guys, this is my rant. If you look at the motor vlog community right now, what is it based around? It's based around bike builds that turn into Patreon series for an opportunity to win a dream bike. So what they're doing is they're, they are appealing to that desire, like a lottery ticket, right? that desire we all have to have something we don't have and they're saying hey you enter this five or six times 
you can essentially buy the, you know, own the bike. But all those entries is what's paying for them to do the bike. So then they keep doing these Patreon series. Those Patreon series is a big thing in the car and the bike world. I even, I've even got messages about, hey man, can you come review my bike? That's that word on the Patreon. I'm like, I'm not about to go ride a ride a bike that's someone else's bike they're doing for a uh, for a series. And then if I crash it or drop it, just so you can get more exposure, I'm not. No. Uh. Uh. I think that right now, if I ever do something on my channel to 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 give, it's going to be free. I'm not going to make you subscribe to my channel and then pay me money for an opportunity at something that might not be fair anyway it just it just messed up guys i'm just ranting today man you know i had a very good thanksgiving i hope y'all did as well it's it's 30 it's like 41 degrees right now with a wind chill factor of 30 um probably about 35 30 so i'm out here for y'all making a video but Something that's been on my heart lately, guys, it just, it just, it's just disappointing, and it's kind of, uh, it's a morale killer, right? That when I look around, and a lot of the channels that are, that are making money, that are, that are profiting, that have a ton of subscribers and everything, they're not making much content, right? They're either, they're either giving away bikes, they're giving away cars, they're using women, they're using sex, they're using their body, they're using all these different things just to get you to their channel. But, but just take a look at their content and their quality. Like, what substance are they offering? You know, what, what now? If that's, if you click on their channel and you follow them because of their sexy girlfriend or their wife or their friend or all that, then that's your own prerogative. I'm just saying, like, think about, like, that's the, that's where we're at, right? That's, that's, that's what we're saying is quality. That's what we're saying is entertainment, right? I made my motovlog channel around writing and talking about topics that are, you know, in the world or whatever else, right? Talking about my belief and my journey and how I got here and just enjoying cars and bikes and being around other people who enjoy the same thing, right? Doing dual vlogs and all that sort of thing. Like, that's, that's what I'm about, you know, taking my bike to cool areas and getting cool photos and cinematic walk-arounds. Like, that's, that's what I made my channel um or my goal for my channel is to be about and then use that influence right to to you know help others grow their influence and their social media and all that like that that's my message that was my goal so today i'll just rant in with a just just for those of you who aren't in it just open your eyes and look around you know and if you're trying to get into the youtube market just just know it's going to be tough because what you're going to be competing against is people who are going to lower their morals and their standards just for a couple clicks. And you're going to have to look up and ask yourself, are you going to lower yourself and your expectation just for just for the view and for the click or you're not? And let me tell you right now, guys, I won't. You know, I'll be at 800 subscribers for the rest of my life, but I'm not, I'm not going to be doing things and chasing down opportunities just for the sense of a view or for a subscriber. Because then, they're not going to stay around, right? I'm going to lose them eventually because they're tuning into my channel for that particular thing. So if I'm out, if I'm out here racing Hondas every single day, at 50 years old, I'm not going to be racing Hondas. So the same thing that they tuned in for in the beginning is the one that's going to keep them around and then I'm going to lose them. So anyway, guys, that's my rant for today. Hope I had a very, very good Thanksgiving. Um, and a safe Thanksgiving. And I will see all y'all in my next YouTube video.